Good afternoon, Year 9. I'm here to talk to you this afternoon about AQA 3D Art and Design. My name is Mr Lawson. The vast majority of you will know me. Um, in current times, obviously, we haven't been in the workshop as much, so it may be that you haven't had me Year 7, 8 or 9 yet. However, I've been at the school a couple of years, and we build Year 7, 8 and 9 around this current course that we offer. The course that we offer, the AQA Art and Design, there's different strands or different units you can take depending upon which teacher you have, whether it's Mr Douglas or myself or, an, or an, one of the other art teachers in the department. The course that we're looking at is 3D product design, so you will actually be making something that has a three-dimensional shape to it. That's ultimately what the course builds up to. The course, broadly speaking, is split into different elements of the course. At first, when you start the course in year 10, from September onwards, this is in normal times I'm speaking about, which hopefully we'll be getting back to sooner rather than later. In year 10, you would do skills-based options, which are, be are building upon your last experiences in year 9 within the school. That would take us from September to approximately the February half term. We would then start looking at more of the major units within the course. You may or may not know, there is no actual exam as such, no formally structured exam where you'll be sat in exam conditions, which are, I'm, I realise may appeal to some people. However, there is in the year 11, after Christmas, or in, in the January time, there would be a release of material from the examination board, and we would then start what is classed as an exam unit, although it is spread over 10, ta 10 hours and you have a proprietary period before that then a controlled amount of time of 10 hours. That is the closest the course gets to a formal examination and that is worth 40% of your GCSE grade. The other 60% is made up of m modules that you do throughout the, the year or the two, year, the two year course rather that contributes to 60% of your course. There is no controlled time element to that we can do as much time on that as it takes within school or if you chose to do extra work if that's available at the time that will be up to you and your teacher or rather me with this course. If you've enjoyed doing some of the mini projects you've done in year 7, 8 and 9 such as your blockhead, your woodwork or your metal work you may have done in year 8 and year 9 this course will more than likely appeal to you Obviously the 3D element, you're actually making an actual physical product. So it is product design as well. We'll have a great scope for what we actually do in the course. So what we actually make, we'll normally have a couple of different options. In the past, in recent years, as you are aware, that there's been another teacher delivering this course prior to me, taking over January. However, in the past, there is lamps have been made, various other products, various modelling products. A big element of the course is modelling. So you realise your ideas and your designs on paper, whether that be by hand, using certain techniques. There will be freehand sketching. There will also be options that we use to try and help you with your design, to try and duplicate your work. We'll be using light boxes and other equipment to, to bring you on. But obviously everything you do is going to start off with paper-based sketching and design. We would then typically move on to 2D design, which is a program which the vast majority of you hopefully will have used in the school in years 8 and 9. You'll have had some experience with that. As you may or may not know, that's our main link to the laser cutter, which we have in the workshop, which has formed the main backdrop of our making the 3D elements of this course. It can be handmade, we can go into hand, handmade skills, but the vast majority of we've found students in the last two years have went down a laser cutting route. With the obvious advantages of what you've seen, that the quality and the accuracy of your finished item. So in summary year nine, if, if you like working with your hands or you've really enjoyed your experience down here in Key Stage 3, if you've enjoyed making things a reality, product design, making, putting things together, working with your hands. If you've enjoyed that at year 7, 8 and 9, you need to give serious consideration to this route. 
obviously discuss it with other teachers within the creative arts department this may be a, a real consideration that you need to look at if you want to speak to me further about it it's not a problem as I repeated at the start name is Mr Lawson any of the teachers within our department will be able to answer your questions or feel free to get in touch with me thanks for listening to me this afternoon year nine